Welcome back to the channel once again and I thank you for choosing to watch my videos and we are going to do this poster right now so let's open our Photoshop and let's give our design a name funeral poster let's come and choose the A4 preset then the orientation let's choose the horizontal one and let's create the first thing we are doing is to import this image so please check description and make sure you download them before you begin to practice right click on the image and select flip horizontal and let's rotate in 90 degrees let's drag it right here to position it well after that come to the image tab then adjustment and let's choose the black and white click ok make sure the layer is selected reduce the opacity to somewhere 20 let's resize it one more time Select the layer and let's add the layer mask. After that, choose your eraser tool. But before that, right click and make sure that the hardness is zero. And let's clean the edges of the image. Let's open our folder once again and select this image. So it will go through the same process. Let's add layer mask, take our eraser tool and then clean the edges. Let's resize. Okay, come to the image tab, adjustment, then we choose the black and white and then click OK. Take your shape tool and draw your shape in the middle. Yeah, so it's going to look like this. Change the color to pure black. Then take the shape tool again and let's draw another shape from the bottom. Let's change the color using this code. Then click OK. Let's change the outline color to pure white and then increase the size to about 32. Okay, this is 34, it's okay. Now import the photo of the person. Drag it to the right, position it and resize it based on the size of your photo let's go on and add our test forever missed Let's use this font, you can find it in your computer. And let's change 
the font size to 52. Okay, so let's go ahead and add other information that you want to add. Names of family members using font size of 16. After that, import this image and make sure it has its own document because we are going to do a little editing. Right click on the eraser tool and choose the magic eraser tool. Then click on the white color to get rid of it. Then let's move our image to our document. Resize and position it just like this. Select the image in the layers, then add layer mask and choose the eraser tool. Set the hardness to 100% and then let's erase this small part so that our test can be visible. Thanks for your support and watching. If you have not subscribed yet, just hit the subscribe button. Thank you for doing that. Take the test tool and let's add the name of the person. Now let's change the color by using this code. Let's change the font size to 52. Let's press and hold the Alt key and drag the test to make a copy. Then double click and let's edit. Then let's change the font size and the type. Change the type to Lato. And choose the semi bold italic here. And the font size 36. As you keep adding your text, make sure to do the necessary adjustments. Now this is where we are going to add the rest of the information. Any other information that you want to add, this is where we are going to put them. So let's go ahead and do it. As you can see, this part of the test cannot be seen because of the image. So let's select the image, add layer mask, and then choose our eraser tool. Let the hardness be zero. And let's erase that part that is making it difficult to read the test.
at the top here is where we are going to put the date the venue and the time for the ceremony so the information here will depend on you Now to add the age, we are going to use this image. This one to open it separately and choose the magic eraser tool to clear the background. Let's drag and drop and place it right here. Resize it. Use the Alt key and the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Let's add the edge. And change the font size to 30. Let's open the layer style. Choose the stroke. Let's change the color of the stroke by choosing a sample color from here. You can also type this code and you will get the same color you are using. Click OK. Make sure the color overlay is black. Then click OK. Let's change the font type. It seems I can see through the right hand, so I want to make the image appear well. I am choosing the eraser tool. And invert the black and white colors here, and then erase to restore the part that was erased earlier. Alright, your design is now ready and you can go ahead and save and print. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment and share. If you want a PSD file, leave a comment in the comment section and I will send it to you. I'm hoping to see you again. Stay creative. Bye bye.